In a land before time, in an alternate universe, a mother Tyrannosaurus will be baited and killed for meat by an aggressive Neanderthal tribe called the Killer Folk, along with two of her three dino pups. As the remainder ferociously fought for his life on an active volcano that the Killer Folks worship as the Fire Mountain God and decide to next instead sacrifice the dino pup to it as an offering of appreciation for giving them fire. However, the erupting volcano was interpreted as being unpleased which caused the killer folk to flee in fear. So after the erupting mountain had seized, the dino pup was mysteriously transformed with scaly red skin and high intelligence before collapsing from exhaustion, while after being discovered by the adventurous Neanderthal from a different but friendly tribe called the Small Folk. So the Neanderthal that was only known as Moonboy, because unlike most others of his tribe, he wasn't terrified of the night, befriended and helped the red dino pup that would be known as Devil Dinosaur as Moonboy took him to the cool forest to recover from his injuries and next attempted to introduce Devil Dinosaur to his tribe which failed miserably since they fled for dear life at the sight of the Devil Beast while after ostracizing Moonboy from their division leaving him with Devil Dinosaur as the only family he now had. As time progressed the killer folk who now had a new but cunning leader would seek vengeance against Devil Dinosaur by luring him to an assortment of ingenious booby traps which they almost succeeded in eliminating him along with Moonboy. If not for Devil Dinosaur's mutation, they probably activated with fire that now gave him enhanced strength, durability, and intelligence as he went on to kill the killer folk leader, Seven Scars, and after drove the rest of the clan to foolishly take shelter in a cave belonging to the giant arachnid called Longlegs that devoured them, thus ridden the valley of the tribe that once ruled it but now crowned Devil Dinosaur as the new master of the Valley of Flame as he went on to triumph over the fierce and fearless Triceratops Thunderhorn who challenged him for his title and paid for it with his life. Thereafter, Devil Dinosaur took on and defeated the mighty fearsome outsider called Giant who wore Thunderhorn's decapitated head as a souvenir and was causing destruction in the valley after the loss of his cub. Nevertheless, Moonboy cleared the confusion and Devil Dinosaur saved the Giant from certain death and allow him to leave the land with his cub that was now found while simultaneously forming a truce. Moreover, Devil Dinosaur would become a legend in Dino World, defending off hostile alien invasions who came to clear the land of all organisms in order to expand their base of operations. But Devil Dinosaur, who was accompanied by the Hill Folk and Forest Folk tribe, strategically caused a swarm of giant ants to attack and destroy the power circuits of the aliens in their aircraft thus saving the land known as the Valley of Flame, and then after defeated the Dino Riders who sought to capture him as a prize for their leader to conquer the lands, but failed when Moonboy convinced his old tribe to bravely aid in battle in order to secure their future. Just until that is, Devil Dinosaur recovered to do maximum damage to those who thought they could enslave the King of Lizards. Speaking of kings, Reed Richards of the Fantastic Four would use Dr. Doom's time machine to rid the modern world of a now captured young Godzilla who would end up in the Valley of Flame and subsequently encounter the Lizard Riders who wanted to tame him as their own. So they sick their dinos to break Godzilla to make him obedient only to witness their pets get demolished by the King of Monsters. And unsurprisingly after, Devil Dinosaur would enter the fray and challenge the unknown beast that would trespass it in his territory, possibly threatening to take over his kingdom. However, it would be Moonboy to figure out that Godzilla was friend and not foe. So Godzilla and Devil Dinosaur next joined forces in an iconic team up to take out the Lizard Warriors and their dinos. While thereafter, Godzilla was on a rush to beat time in order to quickly head to the mysterious female Neanderthal known as the Hag of the Pits, Fire Pit of Time, when it erupts, which would and did send Godzilla back to New York to unleash his vengeance. As a large amount of time will pass, a scroll alien will be pursued through time and space by the Sheer after he attempted to assassinate the Emperor and was shot down while crash landing in the Valley of Flame. So the scroll next took Moonboy as a captive to find him a hideout before shape-shifting into the deceased Seven Scars of the Killer Folk after Moonboy gave the description not knowing the cause and effect. However, a arriving most renowned warrior and imperial guard of the Sheer Empire known as Gladiator would join forces with Devil Dinosaur to find the scroll, inevitably doing so as Devil Dinosaur signaled Gladiator to stand down so he can challenge the scroll in combat for his many trespasses. 
while the scroll accepted and shapeshifted into a clone of a Tyrannosaurus to engage in a proper battle, only to be unsurprisingly defeated by the King of Dinosaur World, and next apprehended by Gladiator to face his crimes against the Sheer Empire. Meanwhile, in another universe, the brilliant fourth grader with a genius level intellect living in Manhattan, New York, named Lunella Louise Lafayette, will be late for class again after being lost in her inventions and made fun of again by some of her classmates when they call her Moon Girl because of her superior intellect that often caused her to daydream and invent strange gadgets while being bored with her school, which her parents would come to realize. What's more, Luna was an inhuman a race that dated back to prehistoric days after Kree aliens experimented on a group of Neanderthals, giving them a genetic boost so they could become their soldiers to fight against the Kree's sworn enemies, the Scrolls. But for some reason, they later abandoned the project. Mova, Luna was concerned about the Terrigen Mist that accelerate in humans genetics advances, possibly either unlocking special abilities or deforming her into a monster. Moving on, Luna will uncover a Kree Omniwave projector after searching for their technology. While the next day in Dinosaur World, Moon Boy will discover one too that was in possession of the Killer Folk tribe who wanted to sacrifice a small folk for a blood ritual, but ended up beating Moon Boy to death for touching the technology they labeled their sacred night stone to contact their deity. Subsequently, the Omniwave projector will be activated, as well as the one Luna possessed, now in PE class at school, which opened a portal before Devil Dinosaur discovered his fallen comrade, who requested with his last breath for his dino buddy to avenge his death. So Devil Dinosaur chased after the killer folk who escaped into the portal and now was in Prime Earth, attempting to retrieve the Omniwave projector from Luna before Devil Dinosaur inevitably made his grand entrance to cause Armageddon. While everyone ran in panic, Luna was the only one to foolishly stand against the unknown powerful beast that had a stare that can only mean overkill and thick leathery skin the color of blood with teeth sharp as obsidian knife blades, which she used to carry the 9 year old away. While taking her under the Brooklyn Bridge he discovered later on that night, wanting the Omniway projector from her. However, Luna needed it too, after realizing it disrupts time and space. So she wanted to reverse engineer it to try and neutralize the Terrigen Cloud effects on Inhumans. After she head home first, while leaving Devil Dinosaur behind, when suddenly she found herself held captive by the Killer Folk, who took the Omniway projector from her. Nevertheless, Devil Dinosaur will come to her aid while securing Luna's safety by placing her on a light pole before dealing with the killer folk who managed to escape with the Omniway projector after jumping in the East River. Following this, the media will dub Luna Moon Girl, courtesy of her classmates. So Luna next decided to join forces with Devil Dinosaur who she let sleep in her secret lab under the school building to later help her search out the killer folk who had possession of the Omniway projector when all of a sudden, a fire broke out in the science lab while her teacher and classmates were stuck inside. So nevertheless, Devil Dinosaur had to make his superhero debut with the assistance of Luna, who guided him to make like an evacuation slide and bring everyone down to safety. While soon after, they were approached by the totally awesome Hulk, Amadeus Cho, who came to apprehend Devil Dinosaur for all the property damage he caused. However, Luna will object to it before Devil Dinosaur attacked Amadeus Hulk after he touched her which caused them to engage in a macho slugfest of the titans tearing the scene up with their brute strength of ultimate destruction until Devil Dinosaur began to lose his momentum and started to get pummeled until he was defeated causing Lunella to cry for her battered friend she began to finally care for before he was arrested and taken into custody while she was turned over to her parents who then grounded her for her reckless behavior. Succeeding this, Lunella's new mission was to rescue Devil Dinosaur from a top secret security wing at the National History Museum after she got past her parents first and hacked into the museum and Bronx Zoo security files in her lab 15 feet below her school in the sewers before she suited up to head out while deciding to embrace her nickname by calling her superhero alter ego Moon Girl and free Devil Dinosaur from a cage designed by Tony Stark while being forged by Reed Richards and Hank Pym after she used her high-tech gadgets, making their grand escape, dodging security guards and causing paleontologists' worst nightmare by wrecking a 60 million year old dinosaur skeleton while heading towards freedom. Moreover, the next day at school, Moon Girl will be visited and confronted by her mother about her headline the morning newspaper and not in a good way before she was suddenly attacked by the killer folk, which a well-prepared Moon Girl immediately went on the defense and unleashed a couple of her gizmos and gadgets she invented to impressively fend off her barbaric assailants. 
while next declaring she was going to put an end to the killer folk and finally get the Kree Omniway projector back. Inevitably doing so, rather easily you might say, with the killer folk surprisingly giving up on the pursuit of the Nightstone, when suddenly Moon Girl's celebration was cut short, when she was met with her biggest fear and that's being bombarded by the Terrigen Mist on all sides, mysteriously transforming into a cocoon. Before a now concerned Devil Dinosaur hastily took it back to Moon Girl's lab in the lower east side of Yancey Street and curled up with it, not sure of the fate of his beloved friend. So when her cocoon finally began to hatch days later, she emerged more or less the same to the naked eye, when in reality, the Terra Genesis transformation unlocked her ability to swap and link consciousness with the 9 ton devil dinosaur when she became enraged, hungry, or experienced other strong emotions. Meanwhile, Devil Dinosaur's conscious was in Lunella's body, causing a ruckus at her PS20 school. What's more, a 9 year old felon in life Cree alien named Melvar, aka Kid Cree, was seeking to prove himself to his father by capturing an inhuman his race felt were defectors from the Cree Empire and needed to be apprehended. So he chose Moon Girl as a possible easy target to take home as a war trophy, which proved not the case. When all of a sudden, the Muslim Pakistani American inhuman teenager from New Jersey named Carmela Kane, aka Miss Marvel, showed up by way of Amadeus Cho to be a mentor and keep an eye on Moon Girl while also preventing her from causing any more property damage or possible injury to the public or herself. Furthermore, Miss Marvel gave Moon Girl an old Avengers communicator to contact her in case of an emergency if ever she needed help or advice. Meanwhile, in a strange turn of events, Kid Cree, in human form, infiltrated Lunella's school while knowing her secret identity began to catch feelings for her after seeing they both had similar things in common. With Moon Girl wanting to be noticed for her super intelligence and Kid Cree wanting to be accepted for not sharing the same values of the Cree Empire. Moreover, when they made their entry in the first ever Lego League in Hell's Kitchen, which Moon Girl would eventually faint at after feeling extreme excitement, anxiety, and fear from her presentation. Out of nowhere, Melvar's father and his men would crash the event with the false pretense that his son was a prisoner of war captured by Moon Girl. Unsurprisingly though, Moon Girl would uncontrollably switch bodies with Devil Dinosaur who was outside and next immediately burst into Jacob K. Javits Conventional Center to retrieve her body that was being controlled by Devil Dinosaur and place it in her cybernetic ceratops Sid Lego exoskeleton prototype she built after she programmed Devil Dinosaur autonomic mechanism into the artificial nervous system so it could react just like him during the battle before Moon Girl consciousness inevitably returned back to her body and Melvar had no choice but to return home with his father so not to cause any more problems and issues for both parties. Following this, Moon Girl would be approached by Amadeus Cho who's considered the seventh smartest person on earth to test her intellect with Dr. Bruce Banner's Omnicompetence Examiner, which she would after conclude she is the smartest person on earth after solving the unsolvable puzzle in 10 seconds. Furthermore, on the next day outside the Rockefeller University on the Upper East Side, Amadeus Cho along with Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur would take on and defeat the nearly blind inhabitant of Hollow Earth, Mole Man with his Under Earth monsters. Later, Moon Girl would next be approached by Ben Grimm, aka The Thing of the Fantastic Four, wanting to look after her since word spread quickly amongst the superhero and supervillain community that may want to use her high intellect for personal reasons. However, Amadeus Cho wasn't having it and the two unstoppable forces began to throw blows for Moon Girl, wanting her to be under their supervision, pounding each other while destroying Yancey Street, like monsters fighting over the last scrap of meat, eventually wearing each other out. Sometime after, Devil Dinosaur would be out for a swim in the East River when Moon Girl met the also high intellect Riri Williams aka Ironheart who came to add herself as another superhero that would be watching over Moon Girl before Devil Dinosaur showed up with a teddy bear he got from Moon Girl from the city fair. Moreover, during Halloween night, Moon Girl and Doctor Strange would briefly take on a couple of Doombots who came for her because of her high intelligence as Moon Girl helped took them on in giant size. After drinking an antidote given to her by Doctor Strange that was meant for Devil Dinosaur after he shrunk him with a magic potion that wears off in a day or two. And when an army of Doombots amassed in the Lower East Side neighborhood of New York City looking to attack her on Thanksgiving Day, Moon Girl along with Devil Dinosaur distress call was heard when they brought in old and new friends like members of the X-Men who she prior to help when she was called in by Miss Marvel during the war between the X-Men and Inhumans because the X-Men wanted to destroy the Inhumans' territory clouds 
that unlocks their true ability and preserve their legacy while unbeknownst to the Inhumans, the Cloud also acts as poison to the X-Men and threatens to extinct mutant kind altogether. So she aided in helping the mutant forge build a miniature version of the machine he designed to pull in all the Terrigen gas then compress it into a solid state so it could easily be incinerated. Furthermore, Moon Girl would get another distress call, this time from a girl named Ila, lost in space. So Moon Girl built an interstellar spacecraft labeled Moonmobile, along with life model decoys to perform her daily operations during her absence. While ignoring the warnings of her annoying Doombot head, she decommissioned and reprogrammed as a trophy and blasted off light years into outer space while using the Omniway projector to power the engine, eventually landing on the planet, only to find out the lonely moon planet was alive and the one who sent out the distress call. However, in the midst of helping Girl Moon or Ella the Living Moon, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur will find themselves in an alternate universe. Face to face with alternate versions of themselves that were super villains called Devil Girl and Moon Dinosaur, which will lead to them fighting after Devil Girl demanded Moon Girl hurry and vacate her reality since she was very territorial against her alternate self. And after, Moon Girl eventually talked it out by resolving their differences with Devil Girl, who began to kind of rationalize before Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur left the parallel universe with their extra dimensional spaceship. While next, Reuniting Illa, the living moon, back with her father, Ego, the living planet, to finally end her separation anxiety, as Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur left to head back in time to the Valley of Flame to prevent the moment before Devil Dinosaur entered her reality and Moon Boy was tragically killed by the killer folk, causing a quantum displacement. Unfortunately, with a heavy heart, Moon Girl had to make the hardest decision of her life by leaving her best friend, Devil Dinosaur, with his original friend, Moon Boy, in his rightful timeline and head back to Hugs before throwing the depleted Omniway projector into the trash to finally end that chapter in her life. As time progressed with Moon Girl now forming a close bond with the Thing and going on several escapades with him and the Human Torch Johnny Storm as the Fantastic Three since the leader Reed Richards was absent, they would gift her old Fantastic Four tech and the decommissioned humorous robot Herbie who was created by Reed Richards himself. Nonetheless, when a Super Scroll was attempting to summon the ancient universe devouring entity known as Omnipotentus through a portal, after the Fantastic Three was warned by Galactus to bring of life, Mugra will use Herbie's interdimensional search engine to find and bring back Devil Dinosaur as a new member of the reformed Fantastic Four to help take down the Super Scroll in an epic battle to save the universe by wrecking the Super Scroll's machine that was synthesizing the power cosmic to keep the Omniway portal open. Moreover, the day will be saved and Moon Girl will decide to resign as a member of the Fantastic Four while taking Big Red Devil Dinosaur with her. Later, after a good amount of time had passed, Moon Girl would try to block Devil Dinosaur's mental connection with her to prevent swapping conscience again by activating all three of her robot's neurons and redirecting them by ramming them into the pseudo-matrix helmets, which Doomhead would once again believe was a bad idea until it was too late and Devil Dinosaur was transformed into a human boy, who she would later name Devin. While trying to explain his existence to both of her grandparents that she hangs out with every other Tuesday after school. Soon after, Moon Girl and Devin would encounter the Wrecking Crew, who were sent to demolish her school. And in the midst of all the chaos, Devin would transform back into Devil Dinosaur. After the metamorphosis worn off, and went on to unleash a world of hurting upon a group of criminals that was given as guardian powers. Thereafter, after 18 failed trials, Moon Girl would discover that during the full moon lunar phase, she and Devil Dinosaur would spontaneously switch conscience. Moreover, Moon Girl and Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards would get into a friendly head-to-head -head competition to test who really had the higher intellect through a series of scientific challenges collaborated to a differential scoring system, which she would go on to impressively win and undoubtedly earn the prestigious title as the smartest person in the whole world. That being said, Lunella Lafayette is Marvel Comics Moon Girl.